Hello, Lions. Let's get visible. Let's get visible on Facebook. My name is Lion Richard Stevenson, and I'm with the South Tucson Cyber Lions Club. And today I'd like to talk to you about how to get your club Facebook page more visible in your community. This is our club Facebook page. And why do we want to become more visible? And the answer is we want to attract clients and partners donors, and the dollar sign follows the donors, volunteers and new lions, and we want to be visible so they can see us because we want them to join us and support us and be partners with us. This is our club Facebook page, and as you can see from the bottom, we have almost 8,000 followers, the vast majority from our local community. And at the top, just as a point of reference, you can see that we reached almost 3,400 people in the last 28 days and had almost 1,700 post engagements. And that tells us that we're visible in our community and people are seeing it. First of all, nothing's going to happen without a plan. The best ideas, the best programs aren't going to be taken to fruition without a plan. What is a plan? A plan defines our target market. And who is our target market? They're the people we want to attract to our page. For our club, we're doing work with children in our local community. So our target market is going to be schools and principals, administrators, parents, and people in the nursing area, healthcare, people who deal with kids. A plan is in writing. In order to be in writing, then you can keep it and you can all be in agreement as to what it says. A plan has goals, and in our case, We've said we want to reach so many people in a certain time period. We want to recruit so many new members. We want to find so many new children to vision screen. Those are the goals that we've laid down for our club page. We want our plan to be approved by the club because we want the entire club invested in the program and we're all in agreement as to what we're doing and why we're doing it. A plan needs a champion. In this case, I'm the champion for our club's Facebook page, easily found. I think probably some of you might end up being champions. And that's the person who's gonna bring everybody together and make sure it happens. And lastly, a plan needs to be flexible because as things change, such as COVID, we need to be able to adjust. The first thing our page needs to be is attractive. We wanna create a masterpiece. It may not be uh, an old master's masterpiece, but it's gonna be a masterpiece page for a Lions Club in our community. We wanna start by setting it up correctly. We don't wanna do it as a profile. We don't wanna do it as a group. We wanna do it as a page. And we wanna aim it at our target market. So what's in there and the, way we do, and the way we post things is aimed at the people we wanna go after. It has to be attractive. And that means that we want quality photographs, they're in focus, and it's professional as well. So we may not be professional uh, people who deal with marketing on a full-time basis, but we can make sure everything is clean and looks good. The first thing anyone's going to see on your Facebook page is the cover photo, and it's gonna make the first impression. This is a cover photo we've used on our page for a long period of time. This happens to be our vision screening team that screened over 100,000 kids. And it was taken and posed by a school photographer uh, in order to take a picture for the school district. And as you can see, we're attempting to look professional. We've all got our yellow jackets on and we're all smiling and we've got a big sign that, it, that engages people and creates passion for what it is we're doing. And the apple means that we're serving teachers and kids. So make the first impression the best one you can with the best photo you can. Your Facebook page will have a profile. That's the little box to the bottom left of the top. And you should put in the Lions logo in there. And there is a correct Lions logo. You can get it from LCI, the LCI webpage. And I recommend you use that one for that box because that tells people who you are we're a member of the International Lions Clubs. You want to have great content. This young lady happens to be the queen of the cachorros of the Nova Era 
Lions Club in Mexico City. And she's a cute little doll. And you put that photo up and people are gonna to wanna to look at it. So have one great photo. Every time you post, have one great photo. More than one creates confusion. One great photo is gonna grab people's attention. Aim it at your target market. If I put this on my page and my target market are teachers and parents, this is gonna grab their attention. Quality, that's a good photo. It's in focus, the lighting is well, and it's posed well. And I recommend club created posts. Uh, some clubs put up memes and a lot of LCI stuff, which is great, but people in your community are gonna to wanna to see what your club is doing and club created posts are the best ones because it speaks to what you're doing in your community. Make them smile. There's no reason you should have a picture of a lion with a frown on their face. These are two of the best smiles I've ever taken. And every time I get a lion and I'm getting ready to take a picture, I always say, okay, now look this way, make sure you're all well adjusted and everything. And then I go, <laughs> and that makes people smile. And you wanna have photos with people smiling on your pictures. Now that we've got good content, we wanna be easy to find. I recommend a domain name for your club. Ours is STLC We Serve. That's Science Tucson Lions Club We Serve. It's easy to remember and it's hard to forget. Going around telling people to use www backslash backslash equis uh, is really hard. Have a domain name. And we got ours from GoDaddy and I assume there's other places you can get them for 20 bucks a year. So it's worth the money. All you need to do is go to Google and put in STLC we serve and it'll drop you right into our Facebook page. And you can also use that domain name for other social media as well. I draw your attention to this photograph. It's a photo I took while we were vision screening one day and it was featured in Lion Magazine. It's the kind of photo that grabs people's attention and makes them want to read what it is you're saying in the post. Put your name on everything. We were out vision screening one day and I pulled out our banner and at the bottom right hand corner of our banner, it says STLC we serve with the Facebook logo. So when people see this photograph or they saw our sign or whatever, they can just type that into their phone and they're gonna be dropped right into our Facebook page. I'll repeat myself, put it on everything. You can arrange your email signature so it's always there. There's always a link and someone can just click it and see the page. Stick it on your business cards. Posters, flyers, signs, shirts, clothing, everywhere. Make sure it's easy to find, easy to see. Post the link on your website so that when people are looking at your website, they can immediately go to your Facebook page. And another topic for another day, but link your social media together so that you can go from one to the other. Oh, by the way, that photograph, uh, also featured in Lion Magazine, was one of me vision screening one day and look at the kids in that. Boy, that really grabs attention. Now we wanna increase our audience. We want more people to see the posts that we're putting up that have really great content. So we wanna increase the audience and we're gonna do that by making friends on Facebook and then converting those friends to followers of our club page. We're gonna make Facebook friends by taking our profile, that's our personal page. And we're gonna go out and seek people in our community and ask them to become friends with us. And so how do we do that? Well, first thing we wanna do is have a friendly profile. We wanna make sure that our profile doesn't have controversial or strongly worded messages. It's kind of a friendly place. I'm just a good lion's guy. And have it say lions. I've got a picture of myself in a lion's vest and I've got pictures of our service on our page. And I'm going to go looking for people who I want to follow our club page. That's my target market. And I'm going to request their friendship on Facebook. Then once I have their friendship, I'm going to invite them to like our club page. Here's an example. We serve the Sunnyside Unified School District. And this is their board, their school board. And so I go to the internet. I find the Sunnyside Unified School District school board. And I see who's on it. 
and I see the president is a gentleman by the name of Buck Crouch. And I say, I want him to be my friend on Facebook. So now I'm gonna go look for Buck Crouch. And I was able to find Buck and here, is, here he is with his lovely life, wife, Ada. And um, I was able to uh, find him easily enough. And you'll notice where the arrow's pointing, that's the make friend logo. You just go down there and click and it will request him to accept friendship with me. And then once he accepts my friendship, we're friends. Once you have friends on Facebook, your personal friends, you can go to your club page and request that they become followers of your club page. This is my club page. And you'll notice the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the three dots and click that and a drop down menu appears. And at the bottom it says invite friends. So I will click that. It will list all my friends and my club page knows who my friends are because we're connected. And it will tell me whether or not they've liked the page or they haven't liked the page. So I'll see all my friends there. And I'm down in the section where they haven't liked the page yet. You'll also see some where they have liked, but this group hasn't liked it yet. And so I can click the boxes next to their name and then go down to the bottom left and click that. And that will allow me to type in a personal message. Uh, and then when I click send at the bottom, it'll go out. But my message might say, hi guys, this is Lion Richard from the South Tucson Lions Club. And I'd like you to like our club page and follow what we do in our community. Thank you very much. And they'll receive a notification on Facebook inviting them to follow our page. And some will do so and some will not. Here's our friend Buck uh, again. And now I'm back on Buck's page and I happen to go to his friends section, which he has allowed people to see. And I scroll down and I see a gentleman there by the name of Andy Townsend. And I notice immediately that we have 45 mutual friends. And I, I say, that's, that must be a fellow that's involved in somehow in education in South Tucson because that's where a lot of my friends are. And so I'm going to ask him to be a friend of mine as well. It so happens that in this photograph, we already are friends, as you can see just to the right. But had he not been, I would click that box and it would invite, invite him to become my friend as well. So once you make friends, you can also find other potential friends within those friends. Now we're gonna do cross posting. Sierra two through eight school is one of the schools where we serve and they have over 2000 parents following their Facebook page. They're a middle school with a thousand students. We have many grant program where teachers can tell us what they need and we will grant it. And this particular teacher said she needed English language arts materials and she needed $375. So we granted that and we sent her a check and we took a picture of it and posted it on our page and shared it over to the Sierra page. And here she is uh, on the Sierra page. If you click on that, it'll take us right to our page. So we're able to use the Sierra page with their 2000 followers to get people to click to get over to our page. The Elvira Elementary. This is one of the best pages I've ever seen. Uh, the principal manages this page and he probably posts five or 10 posts a day and they're just great. And it has over 2,400 followers. I show this post from their page just so you can see what a great post looks like. Uh, this is one that I wanna read about this. I wanna see what this young man is doing. And that's just an example of a great post. The art teacher in Elvira uh, needed materials really quickly because COVID turned the world upside down. And she, all of the kids needed these materials to be able to do their uh, learning at home. And so she contacted us and said, I need 300 bucks for materials. And the next day we dropped by with a $300 check. And of course we took a picture of that event, but so did the school. And you'll notice the fellow in the red shirt there, uh, you may recognize him, that was Andy from uh, Buck's page. And he's the principal of that school. And he had that picture taken and posted it in the Elvira Facebook page for all of his 2,400 followers to see. You'll notice he also very graciously up at the top in the blue letters, linked it to our page. So if you click that blue South Tucson Lions 
uh, lettering there, it'll take you directly to our page. So we're using a, few, a school photo, but he links it to our page. Again, another opportunity to uh, have people come over to our page and see the content. You'll notice this particular photo at the time I took it had 118 likes and seven shares. So that's a pretty popular photo for a school page. And it's going out to all the parents, uh, which are our target market. We have the option of paying Facebook to boost a photo. This is a photo I took of one of the nurses in a school where we do vision screening. And I decided to boost this photo. And I paid 10 bucks for this. And as you can see, it reached almost 5,000 people and 642 people liked it. That's an amazing number of, of likes. And you don't see the verbiage there, but the verbiage was important uh, to the likes as well. So the way you do a boost is to choose an effective post. And it has to be a good photo, it has to be a good post. Then, in this case, I spent $10, received 642 likes, was able to convert that to over 100 new followers. And these sometimes work, sometimes they don't. Try it and learn and, uh, you'll, and adjust. And I wouldn't spend a lot of money on one ad. I would try it for a small amount and see what happens and then maybe adjust. So the way you do it, choose an effective post and click boost, like you see down in the bottom there. This happens to be the third grade at Elvira Elementary. I uh, liberated this photograph from their Facebook page and made it a post on our own page. And it's the third grade team. And this is the, the grade that we give dictionaries to all the children. So I'm talking here about the dictionary project and I'm gonna boost that. When you boost a post, choose an effective post, choose your target market. In this case, the first arrow talks about going to people who already like our page and their friends. If you have been successful attracting your target market to your page, a very good place to find more people is the friends of those people. So that's a good box to check. There are other options like healthcare workers, nurses, uh, uh, school teachers, uh, people in the community. There's options to choose from uh, when, you, when you set that page up. So then you can choose the time to run. You want to run it for five days, 10 days. You can choose the amount. And obviously more money reaches more people. I tend to like to do $10 for five days and see how it goes and then change it up a little bit, maybe change the target market. Now, we've got all those likes out there for the posts. What are we gonna do with those? We're gonna convert those to page likes. And here you see a, a post and the bottom of the post, it shows you that six people have liked this post. It's not a very popular post, but there are six people here that liked it. So, and I do this for every single post I put up. So when there's six or if there's 600, I still do the same kind of thing. And I click on that and it's gonna show me who those six people are. You'll notice that Sheila and Pete have already liked our page, but there are four people in the middle who haven't liked our page yet. And I'm going to invite them by clicking the invite to like our page. They'll receive an invitation and they might very well accept it, in which case I've converted them to followers of the page. Facebook has insights information. There's far more information here than you're ever gonna to wanna to look at. And some of it is esoteric and hard to understand, but you can see which posts do well. You can see what time of day they do well. You can see how you're doing. You can compare one month to the next, one post to the next. And as you're trying to achieve goals that you put in your plan, this is a good place to set those kind of goals. So many followers, so many likes, and to check out how they're doing. So you can check out your history, see what works, and be prepared to adjust over time. Well, this is interesting. This is an interesting slide. At the bottom left is Buck and his lovely wife, Ada. You may recall them standing in front of the airplane. Uh, they're now members of our cyber club. And over to the right is our friend Andy, the principal of the Elvira School. And he is now a member of our cyber club. In the middle is me with Tiffany, who's the principal of uh, Sierra. You may recall they're the one with a thousand students. 
She just joined two weeks ago, and I just loaded her second new lion that she joined today. So those people that we started out by just being friends on Facebook have now turned around and become uh, members of our club. And at the end of the day, that's really part of what this is all about, is to attract more hands and more hearts to do more service. I'm available if anyone has questions or comments, feel free to contact me. I'm on Facebook at the South Tucson Lions Club, that's STLC We Serve, or at the Global, Face, or the Global Lions Forum Facebook group, I'm the administrator. And either one of those places, you'll find me by just uh, making a message or a comment. Thank you so much for allowing me the chance to talk to you today. And I'd love to talk to you all more in the future. If you have a question, please contact me. And that's all, folks. Thank you so much.